Let's turn the back the clock. It was 25 years ago today. It was this very date in 1989. Bengal fans were rallying in South Florida, fired up for Super Bowl 23. The team itself had relocated to this Holiday Inn and Plantation. A team meeting was scheduled, but running back Stanley Wilson didn't show up. A bathroom door was Jimmy to find him. He was sitting on a bathtub, embarrassed that he had used crack cocaine. It really was like uh, the ceiling fell in. There was a lot of, uh, uh, there was a lot of pain. There was a lot of frustration. A lot of the players took their playbooks and slammed them on the ground. Their heads went down, and they just. Uh, they got kicked in the gut. Sam Weich was in Cincinnati Monday night. A quarter century later, it still haunted him. We'd had a walk through on the practice on the game field that morning. He had his wife and his mom and his dad there. He'd flown them in from California. There wasn't a hint of a problem. The fact was, Stanley was a troubled soul, a former drug abuser who seemingly had beaten the habit. And in doing so, had become a productive player and could have been a huge factor that Sunday night against the 49ers. Remember the turf wasn't watered right and it was right. coming up in chunks and you had Icky Woods and Stanford Jennings and, and uh, James Brooks were all long striding bin back runners and when they do that that turf would come loose but Stanford or Stanley was a wide striding you know kind of Barry Sanders runner and he would have had people missing. White spoke Monday night at the Oak Hill Sports Stag. Ironic that the Super Bowl that got away was about to observe an anniversary preceded by the incident with Stanley Wilson that he thinks changed the course of Bengals football history. I b believe in my heart if we'd have had him in that ball game, we'd have won that ball game going away. It wouldn't have been a close game.